In the Japanese capital, Tokyo, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Emperor Naruhito led commemorations, expressing deep remorse over Japan's wartime past. It's been 75 years since the end of the war. Our country has consistently valued peace and moved forward. We have made the utmost effort to make the world a better place, never to repeat the tragedy of war. We will continue to remain committed to this resolute pledge. 75 years ago, countries echoed with the sound of heavy weaponry. The war in Europe had ended several months earlier. Adolf Hitler was dead, the Nazi war machine destroyed. But the conflict in the Pacific against Imperial Japan continued. On the island of Iwo Jima, US Marines and Japanese forces were locked in battle. The US emerged victorious. Japan responded with intense resistance. Suicide pilots, the kamikaze, sped their planes into Allied targets. In the closing days of the war, America unleashed unparalleled destruction on Japan. First, on the city of Hiroshima. Three days later, on Nagasaki. The nuclear attacks killed more than 200,000 people and forced Japan to surrender. It was peace at a colossal price. Japan's defeat also meant an end to its colonial rule in other parts of East Asia. In Korea, North and South, this is Liberation Day, marked with tributes before statues of past leaders. And in the Chinese city of Nanjing, the site of the massacre of 300,000 civilians by Japanese troops, people gathered in solemn silence. In the UK, victory over Japan Day began with the sound of a lone piper. Planned parades were scaled back because of coronavirus. But in the skies above British cities, the roar of aircraft from that era honouring those who served. Today we remember and give thanks for the extraordinary bravery, resourcefulness and tenacity demonstrated by those who fought in the Asia-Pacific theatre of the Second World War. There's an ever-dwindling number who remember the world at war firsthand. For them, the trauma still echoes down the generations. The courage and sacrifice still command respect. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.